Hey everybody, happy new moon. I'm trying to put up a post, I mean a pin a post. Happy new moon and Virgo will be starting soon. I'll be doing the honey jar. We'll be doing um, some readings, some witch tips, some tarot talk. talk. Uh, two things at work, two, uh, two things at once don't work. What is everybody doing for the um, uh, the new moon? I have everybody's name in the honey jar and all my herbs. I'm getting them ready. I'm just getting the pen post for everyone. Witches and co. Post. All right. Hey, Tammy. Okay. So, I'm waiting um, for other people to join. Um, we see Keisha has joined. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I'm going to flip the camera around so everybody can um, see all the herbs. And I need to light some candles. So... I'll be getting that ready. <sighs> Let me flip this camera some type of way. up over here here is our jar from last month so it will be being retired and then this is one I did for a client if anybody wants a personal jar done for just um, you know by themselves make sure you let me know um, these are all my herbs I'm going to be using green candles of course it's Virgo season All right, so as we get started, thank you all got for coming. Wave, wave, wave at everybody. Um, I'm gonna um first I'm gonna go over Virgo season, and then I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know. Anybody who wants to get a card pulled for the new moon, just you know, let us know. We'll try to do it in order. Um, Keisha, please keep up with them so I can make sure I, I stay attentive to the honey jar. Um, 
if it does i'll make sure i'll show in camera what i'm using some things might not have a list so i'll go ahead and use the special tell you what i am putting in there this is like from a deer's rib something you know i live in texas we get weird things but i'm using this um in there like as an earth element for our uh rituals and then of course i have all of my herbs and then my honey and then i have my um this potion let me see what exactly it is okay this is a dream uh, a psychic potion so it is really going to be great getting those astral rounds for our uh, manifestations also i found this green candle a long time ago i bought somewhere probably from um, sale somewhere anyway i'm gonna burn it with it it's a tree symbolic to the earth elements as well virgo season virgo and astrology is the sixth house so while the fourth house is the home the sixth house would be all the decorations and things which make a home a home the kitchen the bathroom the plumbing the pictures on the wall you know the things the blankets the um, shower curtains those type of things is a virgo energy so with us being in virgo season um, a lot of people may be redecorating or want to do new things around the home or even become uh, more minimalistic with their lifestyle because virgo is mother earth in those sense most people associate virgo with virgin or maiden but virgo and astrology is symbolic to unknowing. So sometimes it's important to unknow something because our knowing can sometimes block our um, manifestations. So let's say um, you want something to happen and you don't know how it's going to work. That Virgo energy of not knowing, of being just, you know, reliant and hopeful on the universe. You know, I don't know. Or if someone is being mean or someone, you know, you know that they're up to no good. A Virgo energy would pay no attention because it would be virgin to those characteristics. We know, we know how people act, but Virgo is not ditzy. Virgo just knows not to pay it attention or maybe it's not that important. It's so know this Virgo season things we may hear or see, you know, really be a virgin, I'm sorry, a virgin to it. Approach things more virgin like. Sometimes we get so stuck in knowing, which means we know what's going to happen. It happens all the time. This every time I do this, it does it works out this way. Virgo energy asks for you to say something different. I don't know what's going to happen this time. Maybe something better will happen this time. So make sure you use your um, Virgo energy. Everyone has it. It's in our astrology. We're all in Virgo season. You know, make sure that you use that Virgo energy to be, um, to be, uh, I'm trying to find a perfect word, hopeful, uh, positive, optimistic, um, imaginative. The opposite of Virgo is Pisces, you know, dreamy, you know, dr um, sometimes we think only consider dreams when we go to sleep, but daydreaming is also a part of um, dreaming. A lot of my readings I did this um, season with my sub readings, a lot of it was daydreaming, a lot of daydream energy came up. So that lets me know a lot of us are daydreaming and it's time for us to write those daydreams down like a virgin. You know what I'm saying? Not write them down and then getting discouraged. If you want to go to Brazil, if you want to go canoeing, if you want to fly a kite, just write what you want down. This way, the universe can be attentive to your um, uh, virgin Virgo energy. So, hey, everybody. I am going to start with the honey jar. I will put, like I said, the name of what I'm using in there while Keisha is talking. If anybody wants to get a reading, just make sure you guys know. Um, Keisha is going to come on and also do um, do her uh, um, give her insight on you know rituals and magic. If anybody has any questions, 
Um, you also can um, ask a, ask us questions if you guys. Hey, I love it. It looks beautiful. Thank if you. anybody wants to ask questions, make sure you guys, um, you can type in the questions also. Make sure. Okay. So, yes, Keisha, how are you feeling? Happy new moon. Thank you. I'm feeling good. Everything looks great over there. Yes, I love that black light. Thank you. I'm adding honey. Yes. So if so anybody go. wants a card pool. Um, I definitely want to go first, Keisha. You know me. I'll go ahead and get it started, yeah. you know, so people can feel to join in. I just want to know, you know, whatever you pull and just whatever messages you have. I'm adding my favorite catnip, of course, guys. Okay. I'm going to use that um, new deck okay. for you. I'm adding lavender. Lavender is definitely a Virgo energy herb. Also, it's a just, I call it just a mercury herb. It really helps with calming the mind. You know, if you watch all my videos, I've been doing honey jars now for a while. So I probably have repeated myself a thousand times on most of my herbs. So that's why now I decided to do something a little bit different to where um, we can you know still do the honey jar i'm still showing you guys i'm doing the honey jar but we're doing other things this is cinnamon of course hey miss miss has joined tony is on all right so you got the hand fasting union card. I love these cards. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got the hand fasting union card. Says, let's celebrate, dance, and sing for the Lord and Lady, Lady, King and Queen. Unite together, hearts are one, and sacred marriage bound as one. This magic is worked with no harm, with harm to none. So mote it be, there it is done. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> look, you have to look at the card when you get Let a chance see. to look. Girl, take a picture. I'll see that <laughs> red heart chakra in it. A hand okay. looks like a hand in marriage. So it okay. says, uh, a come <laughs> It says, a coming together in whatever form is celebrated when hand fasting shows up. Hand fasting comes as a blessed, blessed omen, for it indicates the union of yourself and your beloved. Love is in the air, so get ready to tie the knot and jump over the broomstick as, a tra as tradition dictates. Union announces a withdrawal and acknowledgement of your readiness to make a sacred commitment to yourself to promise love, cherish, and honor all of who you are and to never betray yourself in favor of another, including what you hold dear or believe. Union is also union also declares your marriage to spirit and invites you to humbly come before the Lord and la Lady to declare your undying love and dedication to their service. This is a time of pledges, promises, and vows to declare your love for a year, a day, or for how, or for as however long it lasts. To whom you wish to to be joined in sacred union. 
Okay. So it says, which is foresight, prepare for a hand fasting ceremony, commit to a relationship, commit to your commit yourself in service to spirit through vows of dedication. The union of a partnership brings great blessings. Make a promise to always be true to yourself. Love is the answer. Okay. I love that. I like that new moon. Yes. yes. <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> I Let us that. know if you guys want a card, a card pulled, and Keisha will pull one for you. Um, for the new moon, just give it. She's pulling, pull, mm -hmm. um, she's pulling oracle cards while I'm doing the honey jar. So, Keisha, what are your intentions for, um, this, for this Virgo? The season? deck I was using is. Oh. Us might want to know what deck it was. I just got okay. it. It's called Witches. Wisdom Oracle set deck, and I love it so far. It yes, is yes, the bomb. Uh, another thing, I'm out of shredded money. It should be hey. here you know, sometime this week, but I do have my uh feng shui coin, so this is what okay. I'm gonna be using. Let me just write it up. So we there. have it in order. Yes, hey everybody. Uh. Let me go through to make sure. Uh, uh, um, uh, la, 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 my tongue is twisted. <laughs> Armani says hi, Keisha. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna go in order. I'm gonna make sure I go in order of everybody who asked for a card. If you could guys put it, maybe use the question and answering part. That'll allow me to get to it better like that. Hey, Armani, if you guys could put it, you know, so the first person who'd like a card um, is um, we're gonna look, do for, uh, look forever. They if ask you don't her. mind, if we can do Tony first, guys, okay. she goes to work super early and she works at the post office and we know we got to pray for the post office this season. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So yes. please let us, we going to do Tony and then look forever. We got you. And okay. Then, um, then I'll go ahead and get a list down of names in order so we won't forget everybody. Tony, okay. Yeah. Look forever. And since it's the new moon, I have the moonology oracle card. So PH. We'll use those of whichever y -N comes to mind at the moment. X. Tony, what is your birthday? Tony's birthday. She is a Sagittarius. I like that. Do you make? Uh, do you need the whole birthday? No, that's cool. Okay. So just so you know, on astrology level, you know Virgo squares um, Sagittarius also. So Tony, make sure you use that energy. You know what I'm saying? And remember those, you know, no lessons. Because I know Tony chart. You know I know all my friends chart. <laughs> Tony got a north node. I, I can't remember. I think it's a north node Virgo or south node Virgo. But make sure that you, um, you know, take heed of that energy of your true Sagittariusness and maybe not that Virgo. You know, make sure you still stay spontaneous. Okay, and there, then I have Tammy down, and then I have Armani. Okay. So, yes, please, if you guys could do it in question-answer form, we'll be able to uh, show like it up. So, Tony's going, um, going first. I'm adding some cinnamon. more honey all right i see tony you got full moon in gemini oh so let's see oh tony been reading books you been studying <laughs> over there girl and writing i can't wait to see what that card says okay Virgo, happy birthday. Um, I'm okay. your 
I'm your boy, y'all. I don't want to know. You know you can't. Oh, North No Virgo. Yes, Tony. North No Virgo. Okay. Good. So this is a so, good season. That's a see. good combination. Full moon in Gemini. The answers you are the answers you need are coming. This card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth, but remember that your words have consequences and impact your list your listener. Right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you may, the answer you, ugh, sorry, the answers you need may well come soon. The issues you're facing could well. Let me turn my light on, y'all. There we go. Okay. The answers you need may well come soon. The issues you're facing could well be one or a few conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you're in the, oh. if you're in, in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message. Lee said, soon is mended. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. Words have enormous powers as metaphys metaphysician Florence Scovel put it, put it, your words, your word is your wand. You create magic in you in your own reality every time you express yourself. Let's see, attune to the moon, have an important conversation, but stay calm. Additional meanings for this card, don't be superficial. Someone is trying to flirt with you. Have you noticed? You need to laugh off the situation and just move on. Job applications have very good prospects. Ooh, and then let's see. Um, the teaching, talk, talk, and more talk as the emotional full moon moves into the community sign of Gemini. It's too easy to say too much, so mind how you go if you pull this card. This card can also indicate an enjoyable social event since the full moon in Gemini is a great time for socializing. This card also urges to be well for any studies that you're taking or considering. So if you are in the middle of an argument, don't put too much into it. So it might be that you might be, you know, uh, either overthinking it or it might be going a little bit too far. But, you know, sometimes the best answer is silence. And if somebody has been flirting with you, or if you have been feeling a little flirtatious, you need to go ahead and give in to that and pay more attention to that. But uh, communication is definitely, definitely the um, what's in store for you for the new moon. But like I said, you need to be careful with your words because our words are very, very powerful. So you don't want to say something and you know, call, uh, per, uh, permanently damage anything. Um, you know, anything. Just be careful with your words right now. Let me show that card again. And that is Great job. All right. Great job. <laughs> yes, Tony, I'm sure laughing. <laughs> um, the next person is Look Forever. Are you still on Look Forever? If you are, can you put your um, either your sign or your birth date in the comments? Look forever. We're going to give them a few moments and then go to the next person. Keisha You're says welcome. thank you. Okay, Tony there they go. Thank you. He is uh, an Aries. My son's birthday is 325. Whenever you guys do honey jars, just so you know, it's really important to like push the stuff down to get all the air out or you might get it, it might seep over. So that's why I always do that to make sure I get all the air pockets out. It might seep out, that pressure. Okay, you got 
Mutable moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. Be using our potion. Okay. I see nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable is all about change, shape shifting, even that even that something is still developing, this card indicates that something is indeed changing and that, and that there's room for maneuver. So take it as a sign that, your situa that the situation you're asking about is far from finalized. If you're not happy about the current state of play, that's marvelous. It means you that you can still change the course uh, that you can still change the course of the outcome. However, there is also the sense that the situation could perhaps perhaps be a little unstable for some for some this is great news because you can still influence it others still struggle with the uncertainty but just stay with it a little longer either way nothing is yet set in stone let's see attune the moon i know that i know that the best will unfold for me additional meanings for this card your uh, sorry, my phone keeps going out I see you're leaning towards your your you're leaning towards your goal, and that's okay. Staying adaptable is the key to your success for now. Make sure you're not being led astray. Have you become distracted? Time to stay focused. Stay with it, whatever it means to you. The teaching in astrology there also there are three so-called quad quad uh, quadplicities. Cardinal, fixed, and mutable. The mutable signs are Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. And when the moon is in one of these signs, you know there's going to be more flexibility in the situation. Anytime you pull this card, it suggests there's the, there's the opportunity to keep visualizing and affirming what you want as there's still room for change. So think about what you want and enjoy the day dream. So whatever it is um, that you're leaning towards, if it's something that you're working on, I don't know, maybe if you thought maybe it wasn't going your way or maybe you thought it was just complete and over with, just know that it's not set in stone and that there's still uh, room for improvement and still time to grow. You just have to think about, like you said, have you become uh, distracted? Kind of think about why it is that it hasn't possibly, uh, you know, manifested. But don't go astray. Keep working towards it because it's not set in stone, so you still have time to, you know, um, to for the outcome to still um, be in your favor. And that's a good point, too, because Virgo is mutable. You know, sometimes we get so stuck on trying to fix something or start something new. We don't just think about maybe a way to tweak it and make it better. So Virgo is a good time to analyze what we do have going on in our plans and maybe what are the better ways to do it maybe it needs to be revamped maybe we need to try it a new way versus giving You're up welcome. and um doing the same thing over and over or trying to fix a broken thing sometimes we just need to adapt so i mm -hmm. love virgo energy because it's just adaptable it finds the best solution and it gets it done Right. All right. So the next person on the list, we have. Okay. I, this person's name is just letters. It's P Y P H Y N X. Yes. Can you put uh, either your sign or your birthday? If you're still on. Yeah. Your sign or your birthday. My goddaughter your... is on. Can you add her, um, Christina? It's Tracy to okay. the list. Uh -huh. Let me find my pen. I just have it. I just have it. All right. She's a, a, a Libra. Okay, so I have cookies, look forever, and then everybody else is given their birthday in there. Then who did you say add to the list, Creasy? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Also, guys, while she's pulling, my birthday is next week. I'm having a big sale on my uh, Etsy shop. You can use code um, birthday bash. 
and I'm basically it's like 30 something percent off on my candles and everything so and then um, our next week for my birthday I will be having a giveaway me and Keisha will be coming on more often guys and I'll be doing little giveaways and stuff like that um, on Instagram live so make sure you guys turn on the notifications um, we'll be doing more tarot and all of that having more other tarot readers and other people come on and doing more candle magic but go ahead, Keisha. I'm going to go wash my hands, girl. Okay. All righty. And you got step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So let's see. No, go back to the was. Use my pen for this morning because I'm blind. Okay. North Node, step out of your comfort zone. There's a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you are headed in the right direction. If you want to be happy, if you want to be happy and fulfilled, you need to get going towards doing the things that scare you within reason. This card is all about living your life purpose, which is possibly what you asked about. It's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction to take action. So are you willing to follow through and lead the life you are incarnated to live? If you finally find the courage to make the leap, there's a good chance you'll come to ask yourself, why did I wait so long? Attune the moon. I know I'm heading in the right direction. Additional meanings for this card. You're heading for something which feels like destiny. You need to face your fear and get over it. Time to stop obsessing about someone or something. Stand on your own two feet. You got this. The teaching, the north node is where the moon crosses the e ecliptic going north. It's a karmic point on the horoscope chart. Shows us what we need to do and where we need to go with our life to find our satisfaction, fulfillment, and happiness. The north node is the karmic astrology point that reminds us to paraphrase Andre God that in order to discover new oceans, we have to be prepared to lose sight of the shore. So, yes, time to get in your mm -hmm. spiritual alignment. Mm -hmm. uh, name you have to Probably step just like it said it's time to destiny. step out of your comfort zone yes. point blank and that's period. why i say the it, we and we like being in ourself you know because we've been doing it for a lifetime so mm -hmm. it's so comfortable and sometimes we need to jump into that north node i mean it's not it's not easy but it it blesses us so much like so you said it can like the car say it can be scary but right. you already know it's that you're heading in the out. right direction. So once you go ahead and do it, like it said, you're going to be asking yourself, like, why did I wait so long to do this? Why like, why was I even long. afraid in yes. the first place? So my North Node is what I'm doing, but I was scared to do it. So I was doing what I was used to doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's sometimes it was scary. Okay. It's Phoenix, uh, it's people. Phoenix rising. Okay. That's it. Okay. Is that another name? You're what? No, that's that. No, no, that's their name, Phoenix Rising. The uh, the uh, one with the letters, the PH. Oh, You're yes, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank yes, you. The next, the next person we have is Tammy, and she is a Leo like you. Matter of fact, her birthday was just this past weekend. Happy Tammy's belated birthday! birthday. Happy birthday to Tony. Yeah. I mean to Tammy. Tammy. Yes. And then after that, I have Armani, and I know she's a Capricorn. And do you know tr um your cousin or your friend Tracy, your cousin sign? My goddaughter. So, yes. yes. Tracy, what's your sign? I think you're a Cancer, right? Okay, cool. Okay. And this is for Tammy, right? Christina. What'd you say? I said her name is Tammy, right? Tammy. Okay. Let me 
then let me see if anybody else is on the list. Tammy was forever. Trissy gave hers. Phoenix rising name. Okay. Yeah, thank you guys. Yes, yeah, she put it in. She is seven, um, seven twenty. Mm-hmm. Cancer. Yeah. Cancer. Leah. <laughs> All right, Tammy, you got new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. So let's see. Oh, and you're welcome. Let me get my pen so I can read this properly. And I was new moon in Scorpio. Okay. Work through your fears. This card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes. As the birth, death, rebirth paradigm, um, that's what the Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. It almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns, but it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know if you know you are magical, then this is the time to work your magic. It can also herald a, herald the time to start a sex to uh, herald the start of a sexier time. If you've been experiencing some something of a drought, and emotional intimacy is also on the menu. Scorpio is the sign that likes to go deep into the body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. Attune the moon, have some sexy time. Additional meanings for this card, time to let go of a grudge you've been holding. Move on from jealousy. Stop being obsessive. Could it be you're being paranoid? Make an investment. Let's see, the teaching. Scorpio is a sign of death and rebirth, magic and and um, shaman. Its energy is a little bit dark, occult, even scary. Not all of us like to face the shadow, but Scorpio demands it. In fact, it's through working through it, it's through working through your dark side that you can get to the light. And the new moon in Scorpio and the appearance of this card at any other time suggest you need to do that now. So like it said, you definitely gonna go through um, a rebirth, a transformation during the new moon. And uh it's not gonna be pretty, definitely not gonna be uh butterflies and unicorns, but like the phoenix, you rise from the ashes. So just know that um might get a little scary, might get a little dark, but you're gonna still make it through it. And if you've been having uh, someone of, of a drought, like I said, emotional intimacy is also on the menu. And you might need to just try to sexy it up a bit, you know, uh, put some spice into your life, not be, you know, you know uh, not have such a boring life, make it a little spicier. Mm. And that is that card, New Moon in Scorpio. Yes. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm going to make sure the next person on the list is Armani. Armani, are you still here? You're welcome. Thank you so much, uh, Keisha. You're welcome. Let's see, Armani, are you here? What did you say? Um, did you say what their birthday was? Well, let's get to here. She first. is a Capricorn. Her birthday is um, January 3rd. Sorry, I got this big jug of water. Right. <laughs> I see Armani. Are you here? Armani, you still here? 
I don't see her here yeah. yet. I don't see. Let me see if she's on so I can see who's on. Hey, Hope. Hey, Sophia. Hey, sisters. Hey, Tanya. Let's see. Who hey. was after Armani? Oh, so Armani is on. She but is? I, she's just, she is on. It say she's on. I just don't see her comment. Hmm. Me either. Well, I want to go ahead. If uh, we can go to the next person, Armani, make sure if uh, you know. Yeah, because I want to make sure that uh, that she's here before we pull. Yeah, so you can go ahead and go to Tracy, and then um, if Armani comes back, anybody else want to read in a card pulled for the new moon? Just or have any questions, anything you want to ask? You want to ask about? Um, All right. Want to tell us where Tracy, you still on this season? The next person is Tracy. Is she I still just on? don't see the comments, but uh, let me see. Yeah, it just doesn't show if they're still on. Let me see. Okay. I don't see their comments, girl. Me either. Let's talk about Let's our now, you know, until somebody else comes on. Okay, um, I don't see that Tracy's on, so she might have left. Okay, maybe she'll come back. Okay, but yeah. um, or, or invite her back, and then I'll invite Armani back so she can get hers. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to invite some people and do it like that. Well, I guess I'll pull a card for myself then. Yeah. <laughs> so just invite, go to them if you can, invite some people on. And then that will, uh, we'll do it like that. So I am adding some people right now. Okay. Okay, let's see. Fire Priestess, hello. Hey, everybody. So let's I see. What is your people. sign or your birthday? Yes, Fire Priestess, you can just give us your Zodiac. What we're doing is just taking either you can pull a card if you have a question, whatever you like, um, and Happy New Moon to you. <clears throat> Let me get this. All right. Look at my big jug of water. Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah, I'm still working on mine. It's like halfway done. These cards do not like my table. Can you pull those cards that you pulled for me? I really like those that messages. Mm -hmm. Pull it for who? For for whoever, whoever's next. I really okay. like that that deck. Yeah. That's, I like that. I surely can. Let's see. I was told that I must be giving their first tarot deck from another witch. Is that true? No. I bought my tarot deck. I think right in the metaphysical store. Matter of fact. Yeah, I think I got it right in the metaphysical store. You can order it really on Amazon. And actually, my first tarot deck, um, I was in a metaphysical store, and it just fell on the ground, and I picked it up and bought it, and it was a Doreen Virtue Angel deck. I don't even use the deck, but I, that was my first deck. And also, guys, you know, a lot of these things just come from people wanting to um, 
basically, you know, capitalize off spirituality. So we always mm -hmm. have to be mindful. You can get a, a dope deck from Amazon. If you have, if you, you can get a regular deck from Amazon for like $8. Mm -hmm. You can get playing cards from the store for a dollar. That's a tarot deck. Somebody's giving you a playing card deck before you played with tarot cards before in a way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, <clears throat> make sure that you guys know that, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, you can only get your candles from certain places. That's not true either. It's all about right. we are the magicians. And that's what's great about Virgo season is we're able to unlearn those crazy or not beneficial things that have been taught to mm -hmm. us. Our ears are, vir are virgin to those ideas. So magic or spirituality is about our past. It's no separation my for I have a playing card deck that is Spider Man cards that I use it on my kids. Oh, so, definitely. so definitely, definitely. All right. Oh, that's pretty. All Pull right. that close. I want to see it. Let's oh, see. That's so you pretty. got witch's hat and it says okay, power. Yes. Get your magic on. So let's see. Yeah, I just got this deck on M. I have a. Miss Cleo deck that I got on Amazon that I paid like five dollars and some That's change great. for. Where's the price on it too. And that Miss Cleo's deck is that Miss Cleo's deck is the truth. Like <laughs> right. Right. I am not lying. It is. It is the truth, and it's yeah. super cheap. Give, give yourself your first, your first tarot deck. Mm -hmm. yeah. All righty, fire priestess. So you got the witch's hat. And it says, power repeats from the past, hold you in fear. They keep you back when you're, when you're so near. Your strength reclaimed grows by the hour. Now step back into your self-power. The magic is worked with, with harm to numb. So mode it be, there it is done. Yes! <laughs> so, yes! Let's see. So it says, the magic on, lady. Mm -hmm. You so are the magician, fire priestess. Yes. So it says declaring yourself a witch isn't about dressing up and just looking the part. It runs much deeper than that. A true witch understands where their strength lie and uses them accordingly and wisely. You have all, you have all it takes to walk to you have all it takes to walk the ancient path of the old ways and yet you let uh, yet you allow others to disempower you. You tend to give in when your words and beliefs are mocked. Past memories of persecution are linked to your fears, which cause your your light to fade and hide in the shadows. Time to stamp your feet in defiance to anything past or present that is stopping you from growing into the wise one you truly are. By standing strong, you are in a state of declaring to the world that you are the wisdom keepers keeper others are waiting to, waiting to turn to. Now you can wear your witch's hat and stand in your full strength. As you step into your optimal power, never get never to be given away again, which is foresight. You are more powerful than you think. Enforce some authority. Someone is trying to influence you. Walk away from those who do not serve your highest interests. Reclaim your self-power. Investigate your past lives to heal fears of persecution. And get with the priestesshood, sis. <laughs> <laughs> You're in. So, yes, girl, you got that. You power. have all the power. Yes. And you know it, back to your but you can't yes. allow anybody to yes. take your power away, and you can't yes. allow anybody to uh, dim your light. So right. you just have to go ahead and step uh, step into the self power, and like it said, be the wish yes. that you know you are, and go ahead and level up. And you know, and right now in humanity, right now, what's important about us spirit, us the, who call ourselves spiritual people. We the line has the line has been drawn. We are now the priestesses. It's it's I not the old too. world. The you know what I'm saying? So we definitely priestess, um, fire priestess. Your priestess, step into mm -hmm. that. Be that. Know that. Don't be going looking for advice. Go within. You already know. Google it. Research it. Ask the universe to give you those answers. You know what I'm saying? And like mm -hmm. I said, never be afraid to ask questions. The best teachers are students. So by you asking a question, 
that lets me know that you also are a priestess and a teacher because you are able to ask a question. So I really want you to use this Virgo season to organize all your witchy products, organize your candles, get all your herbs together, and get get on making your magic, sis. Put your intentions into yes. the universe. I love yes. it. Yes, I love that. Hey, Blue Diamond. Hey. We are doing readings and answering any magical questions that anybody has. You can put it in the question and answer, and I'll read it out loud. Or you guys can just put it in the comments. If you want a card pool, just tell us your um, zodiac or your uh, birthday if you want to. And then um, we'll do, we'll, we'll pull more cards. Yes. Let me you are so welcome. I love that deck. It is. Yeah. The bomb diggity. <laughs> So I'm trying to add Armani back. Is, is Armani or your our um, your goddaughter back in here? Uh, let me see. I see. No, I don't see her. All right, then let's keep talking. And you know, I really everybody's really liking that deck. If anybody wants to get another card pulled from that deck, I really think they'll enjoy that. Keisha, do you want to uh, read maybe um, Tony and look forever and use that deck on them? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, we're gonna read from that deck for Tony and for Look Forever, guys. And we already know Tony is a um. Sagittarius and look forever is a Aries. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Let me go ahead and answer his question because he asked for one. Look forever. He said, mm -hmm. What are some um what are some beneficial practices we should try or begin on during this new moon season? Good this question. is really a yes, this is a really great time, like I was saying to um to break away from those ideas that people have told us, you know, and really do that, you know, reprogramming like, like uh, Tony Stark does, you know, where he reprograms himself on um, Iron Man and just basically changing the narrative. This is a really good time to take those memories and reprogram them and maybe see things in a different perspective. You know, don't overanalyze, but maybe analyze the situation and then see it from a new way. So right now, some really good practices, honestly, are really good self-help books, you know, like um, As right. a Man Thinketh or The Power of Now and really good ways to use your mind. Also, some practices good right now for Virgo are Feng Shui which is the way that your um, furniture and home is, is uh, set up. So it's a really good time to look into, you know, feng shui and stuff like that too. Okay, definitely. I hear you, uh, P-H-Y. I think you said her name was Phoenix, but we'll, the Libra. We'll do yours mm -hmm. too from that deck. But yes, right now we're doing um, Tony. All and then right. if anybody has any more questions, we'll definitely answer them. A thing. Let's see boundaries. Come on, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tony. Just yep. so you guys know, Tony was my first ever love reading. Six years ago. Wow. Boundaries. And she is Sagittarius. <laughs> it was okay. Let's see, a theme boundaries. Get to the point and draw the line. A theme appears as a warning sign. Attention claim. Now cut the cut those ties. Focus return. Now you shall rise. This magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be. There it is done. So let's see. So which is wisdom? Your attentions have been rather hazy as of late. Nor are you. Your attentions have be, been rather hazy as of late, nor are you giving the right signals about who you are and what you are. In fact, 
Do you actually even know who you are at this very moment? It's important. It's time to finally focus and get to the point. You cannot expect to be taken seriously if you have not set those boundaries. For by not doing so, you will find that others cross the line by taking advantage of you, not respecting either your space or you. Your natural energy is being drained, drawing your attention unnecessarily to others instead of what, re what is really important. A thane offers to cut ties with those who are no longer, who no longer serve your highest purpose. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will banish these people from your life, only that the that you won't be taking on their energetic demands, which are drawing you away from your true purpose. Mentally, ask the power of a thing to cut these cords in perfect love and trust, and your vitality and focus will return. Which is foresight, you are being diverted from your path. Focus on what is truly important. Honor your beliefs and yourself. Don't give in to superficial demands of others. Set clear boundaries. You would benefit from a uh, from an energy healing. Okay, Tony. And that is the card, a thing with the knife the for you to cut those ties. Yes, are you Tony? You know we talk about boundaries all the time. Next is look forever, and then the person after that. If and then also, if anybody has any witch questions or magical questions or astrology questions, you guys can type them in too. You know, that's why I, you know Virgo square. That's why I brought that up. Virgo do square Sagittarius. You know, that's why I did bring that up. Virgo season definitely square because I mean. Right now, my stellum is on. I have two stellums on. I have a stellum in Virgo and a stellum in Sagittarius. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sleep for 30 days. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> all my, all my, uh, like I was like, I'm finna go live. It was like, damn, you didn't even plan this. No, because I'm, I, my energy is squared and I'm super, um, just spontaneous because of that energy. You know what I'm saying? So the yeah. next person up, like I said, is look forever. And I remember, look forever, if you can correct me. What was he, an Aries? Mm -hmm. I think your birthday was 324. Yes, okay. Tony, we show sure will. We got to get this structure in order, huh, girl? You know, that's our key word. It says that it's going to cut us off, everybody, in one minute and 54 seconds. So I'll just redo it again. And then, Tony, I mean, uh, Keisha, everybody, please come back. Yeah. And then invite somebody. So go ahead and do that. And then when it ends, I'll go ahead and just start. And I'll have your cards once we come back. Let's go ahead and end it now. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I'll come right back in about two minutes most. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 